I used to be a hurricane chaser. I'm not a professional. I have a stepfather that's been doing it for 15 years. He's not a professional, but he's an amateur meteorologist and he's pretty darn good. I asked him about Hurricane Irma. I said, what can this hurricane do? Where's it, where's it going to go? He told me that he said for the first time in 15 years, he said, I stopped chasing it. I don't, I don't understand which way it's going to go at this point. No one knows. If you're in the state of Florida, be careful. If you're in an RV, if you have an RV, or a trailer, get out. And the problem is, is I believe tomorrow is the last day. Tomorrow, the roads are just going to start getting busy tomorrow. So if you're going to evacuate, you need to you need to know if you're going to evacuate tomorrow. It's going to be like, not the last day, but still going to be busy. Friday is going to be really busy. You're not going to, probably not going to get out. Um, so get out while you can if you're in the state of Florida. If you're by the coastline, get out. Get get inland or go up towards Georgia. That's the only way around this. And now, if it comes through the strait, it's going to get, it's going into warmer water. It's at 185 mile an hour winds right now. 185. It's the most on record ever. It's going into warmer water, so it could go to 190. It's as a, Right now, it has a 220 mile per hour wind gust. You realize what that is. That's like a tornado the size of, you know, Florida. Now, you got to get, get hit by the eye wall, so it's smaller, the eye wall. But still, if that thing wobbles into you, you know, it could wobble 500 miles. 300 miles, it wobbles. So when it gets up, if it starts taking a turn, if it takes that turn into Miami, if you're in Miami, or the Keys, Florida Keys, forget it. It's going to be underwater. Miami, you got to be really careful. East coast of Florida, west coast, it could go on the west coast and cut in. I'm not a weatherman, but I know that there's, they don't know what it's going to do. I don't know what it's going to do. But I'm telling you right now, be careful in this one, guys. This is the biggest, strongest storm on record. This is a per the perfect storm. Get out of its path if you're in an RV. Don't even go into the state of Florida right now. Be careful in the uh, panhandle of Texas. Well, Texas is probably going to be fine. Louisiana, uh, Tallahassee, Florida, the panhandle, Panama City. Be careful around here because if it does go around Florida, it can smash into that. And once it goes in, see, this is a storm you have to be careful even inland. It's such a powerful storm. It's not going to slow down that much when it hits inland. So if you're in the center of Florida, you can still get Category 3 wind. That's serious. I was in a Category 3 before, and it's no joke. It's scary. I was in a Category 2 for a long time. A couple of them. Borderline 3, and it was it was pretty scary. When that eye wall hit, it was no joke. You just cannot stand outside. Shingles were flying into cars. When the shingles hit the cars, it would dent, dent the car like that. So if it hits you, you're done. You know, it hits you in the neck. Or... Just be careful, guys. I'm just trying to say, um, evacuate early. If you're going to evacuate, go now. Don't wait. Tomorrow's the roads are going to get busier. Go. Get your gas. Get your water. Get everything. It doesn't matter. You're going to still need gas. Fill up gas cans. You can use them later on. You can put them in your car. Just be careful, guys. This is no joke. I don't care where you're at. I don't care. I'm in North Carolina, South Carolina border. And if it comes straight up to here, which it looks like right now the way it's going to go, we could still get high winds up here. So be careful. You're not out of the woods if you're in Georgia. It's going to be strong. This is a this is a beast of a storm. So be careful. Stay safe. And um, we'll update you again on this storm. I'm not trying to be a weatherman. I'm just trying to tell everybody in RVs to be safe. I love you guys. Just stay positive. Stay positive.